What is going on you guys? It's your boy Lone Wolf here. And this is a story time about what happened after we investigated the abandoned slaughterhouse. And before I get started, I gotta make a few announcements of upcoming videos. So this Friday, Friday the 13th to be exact, we are going back to the slaughterhouse. And we're planning on staying longer than we did last time. So more footage, all slaughterhouse again. And we plan on ghost hunting that time. And hopefully we catch something. And I will try my best to get whatever I can. Evidence of ghosts. You know, record more than what I did at the um, slaughterhouse. I, st I recorded a good amount. But like, you know, maybe you get a little more. But with more evidence and stuff. But part two of slaughterhouse. Coming to you this Friday. Also, there I am going to make another story time video or more of like an update video i don't know i'll figure it out from there about my first month of college and let me tell you shit has gone down like it's honestly a little wild to to think about what has transpired in my first month of college believe me there's a lot of tea anyway so what happened after slaughter this kid so yeah this is what happened after we left after i cut off at the end of the video and yeah but let me before i even get to that let's just say the beginning when we first got like when we first started hanging out before we even went to the slaughterhouse it was already a shit show jazz killer had no idea where the hell he was going like he had no idea what he had planned to do we all went around our town of selma our hometown of selma and like just try to figure out what to do while we waited for our new member crystal you've seen her in the slaughterhouse video we waited for her to be available she was going to be available after five or six because she had a party to go do beforehand and we were just trying to kill time beforehand to, until she was available so we can go to the slaughterhouse and go do what we were going to do there but there was also other stuff planned after the slaughterhouse. But anyway, we were just trying to kill in time. But we kept asking, Jazz Killer, where are we going? What are we doing? And he was like, oh, uh, I really don't know. What are we doing? I was like, I was like, oh, these are your plans, man. And you have no idea where we're going. Jeez, that. Anyway, we figured something out. We just ended up going to go eat in the t next town over in Reedley. And we just chilled there till Chris it was time to go get Crystal. Go went to Gaga Crystal. Then we went to the slaughterhouse. Well, at first we got lost, if you saw in the video before. We got lost first, and then we ended up going to the slaughterhouse and finding it. But we were trying to find another place called Witch's Bridge. Now, I've never heard of it. That was the first time I heard of it that last time we went to the slaughterhouse. And apparently, Bear and Jazz Killer have been to Witch's Bridge before. But Jazz had no idea how to get to the slaughterhouse, not the slaughterhouse, the Witch's Bridge. And he was trying to tell Bear to call up one of Bear's old friends from when he went to Dainu before he came to our school in Selma when we were still in high school. Anyway, he was hitting them, trying to hit them up to ask him what the directions were. Pretty much what happened was they weren't answering. Both people he called weren't answering or giving them the right directions. So we, they knew where the slaughterhouse was, but they had no idea where Witch's Bridge was. So after we went to the slaughterhouse from the video you saw, we tried to find Witch's Bridge. Or no. First, we went to a place called Devil's Road or whatever. I've never heard of that either. And I've heard of a lot of paranormal stuff here where I live or around me. And I've never heard of that road. It was literally just a quiet road that I've never been on. I recorded there, but I didn't post it on YouTube. You will get those recordings after this video is done. Like legit, after I'm done telling the story, it'll go jump right to the videos. But anyway, you know that. Pretty much, it was just a road that people actually drove on. There were a couple of cars passing. You'll see it in the videos. But nothing really interesting happened. We were in front of a fucking house and it was kind of like disturbing for me because I was like, what if they think we're trying to rob them? We we're just chilling up there because we're shining our flashlights making sure no one's going to run up on us. It was in a bad part of town where it was located. So ultimately nothing happened. But Jazz Killer decided it's time to go find Witch's Bridge. But he had no idea how to get there and... We kept driving around. He kept saying, make a left, make a right. Bear at one point said, you need to turn down this road. And Jazz was like, nah, I know where I'm going. You have to go around. And Bear was like, oh, okay, you know. 
and we ended up going left, right, left, right, doing the long road. Ended up in the mountains somehow, right by where we live. And we ended up in a little town called Wood Lake. And that is like an, practically an hour away from where we live. We were just sitting there like, what the fuck are we doing in Wood Lake? I've never been there before. So I thought, oh, maybe this is like, maybe this is like, a, you know, a few minutes away from where I live. No, it's a whole fucking 45 minutes away. I forgot to mention that his new girlfriend, Audrey, was driving. Yes, new girlfriend. We'll get into that with the college thing. Like I said, a lot of tea. Anyway, yes, he was just stuck in the car with his girlfriend, Audrey, just chilling there. Jazz was just trying to figure out where to go, but we were just sitting there like, well, what the fuck we do now? So I mentioned that we should go back to the Sanga Del Rey Cemetery. Yes, in my story time before, I talked about how we went to the Sanga Del Rey Cemetery. But now that we have a bigger group, we can all go in like a bigger group than what we were before. And it would be less scary. So we decided to do that. It was a whole fucking... Now that drive was a fucking hour away. That was a far-ass drive. We ended up going there. We went there. And it was like... I didn't record... Because at first it was like, I was going to record, but then I was like, this isn't even scary. Like, I, haven't, I was like, there's no point in me recording. So pretty much what I did was I just recorded, I rolled on my little EVP thing on my ghost app. And you can hear my mom. <laughs> God damn it, mom. <laughs> anyway, pretty much I heard, I mean, it caught a couple voices, but they're really not interesting. So I'm not going to show you them. It wasn't really that important. But, I mean, I heard crying and stuff, and we heard, kept hearing some voices here and there, but nothing too major where I wanted to get it on camera. Although, I did keep seeing something, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna save my phone battery. And I was actually kind of weirded out because it was like, they, it was, everyone was really creeped out the entire time we were there. But, like, towards the end, we were just, everyone was just, like, chilling, all calm, and I was kind of, like, concerned because I was thinking you guys were just panicking and then all of a sudden like that comfortable it was kind of scary for me but i had no idea what to think but anyway so pretty much from it was just comfortable everyone was comfortable so i needed to freaking i needed i felt i was starting to feel sick like i thought i was gonna throw up in front of everyone so i told bear hey walk with me me and bear are walking to go find a place he needed to pee so i just wanted to walk so i can get my stomach to be all stop being the bubblies and pretty much he went to pee and i was just walking around finding a flashlight making sure nothing happened lo and behold what do i see i see a fucking homeless guy at least i assume he's homeless because he was just chilling in a band cemetery he just walking by like hey i'm out of my own business but that scared the shit out of us because we just dipped we ran away we were screaming because that shit's scary I had no idea what to expect. And I hope that doesn't happen again at the slaughterhouse, at least, because we were pretty sure that there were some homeless people there, because Gabe thought he saw a tent, but we went up and didn't see one. He was probably tripping. But still, you never know. But, yeah, it was just a very scary experience for me and Bear, and you know how it is. But, yeah, after that, we dipped and went back to Mikey's. Yeah, we went back to Mikey's house and just chilled there for the rest of the night. Well... That is basically what happened after the slaughterhouse. And it was pretty wild, especially getting lost an hour away from where we live. But yeah, then that is it for me today. The good little story time, kind of short and simple and to the point, but you know, just to get it out there and to get the information about the other two videos to be looking out for. Uh, that is it. That is it for me guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you all in the next one, which is gonna be Friday, expect Saturday. Anyway, be like no one guys, peace. Ah. I just turned on my PlayStation. Guys, guys, we're at um, Nightmare Road. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. Yeah, hey, you're funny. I'll do it. No, Bear, get down and press the Lord. Yeah, do it. Right. Get down and press the Lord. Alright. Alright, alright. Sorry, guys. Alright, I'll be back. 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 Alright, I'll be back.
really not trying to get down, to be honest. I, I, I get down to do the freaking thing and then the freaking coyote comes out. You're sure? <laughs> but. Did you see that light? Yeah, I think it was Fucking matter, B. I smell smoke. Me, Mick. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Sorry. Someone call him and tell him that he got the truck. Yeah. Okay, he's getting out. I just heard a girl's voice. Dude, no fucking light. I just heard a girl's voice over there. Dude, they're getting out. What's happening? Get back in your so, car. Shut off your lights. Hey. Don't give us one Yo. Hey, this is considered one of the hauntedest roads in London. Get, get back in. Get back in. Why? Dude, no, no, for real. Like, just get back in. Please, can you get back in? London, get over Yeah, you're going to see cars, but when it goes fucking total quiet, it's terrifying. If you can hear it. You just hear a cock of a gun. Yeah, I see it. Dude. Oh, there's actually another nickname of this road, by the way, Andrew. What is it? Is this Snake Road? Would no, you, this, this isn't Snake, snake Road. This no, isn't Snake Road. This isn't Snake Road. I've been down that road. Singer. Yeah, Snake Road isn't Would Snake Road. Would you like to know the nickname of this road? Can we hear it? Death Troll. Honestly, like... That's not as scary as it should be. Well, no, really it's just... So it's I'm, I'm not... Really I'm not really... I mean, I'm creeped time, out a yeah, little. Yeah, like, 12 to 3. Like, like if, if you see smoke, like, like, if you see fog coming over the water, that's when you know I'm not leaving though. I want no, to like, No, that's when you know she's coming out and you just see her doing this. Fuck that. Fuck like, come in. Yeah, yeah, I would have been like. <laughs> this place has two nicknames Death Road. And the other one's a little bit. <laughs> that hurt my ears. Andrew. Hmm. Death Road. Is that not the second nickname we, me and my cousins gave this place? Andrew? What? Well, I'm listening. My nose is passing. <laughs> Dude, who am I supposed to be? Screamer's lives? Death. We nicknamed it as Kids. Mm -hmm. And it scared us. Carol's car is not gonna help me fucking hear it, okay? Alright, let's hit the Witch's Bridge then. Uh, you gotta go ahead because I, I don't remember the avenue name for Witch's Bridge. It's 164. It's not 164. Because we passed 164 on the way here. No, we didn't. If we would have passed 164, then that's when you, that's when you, you, hit, you hit that turn off. Let's see. Oh, 162. <laughs> Red light. Moving. Right there. See the 
pole right here? There's a pole right here? Right next to it. I saw a red light just behind it. That pole right here in front of Max? Uh, behind it. I saw a red light go behind over there. But I don't know if that's like a phone or one of these lasers. Might be loading up laser. It is. I just saw it. Door. Hit him with <laughs> flashlight. No, don't do that. I don't need that one. No, no, no. The owners are right there. That's why I have a tune on my headphones. That's why I want to dip right before Max doesn't know where he's going. Uh, I'm sorry, do you want to be a navigator, bitch? Dude, I want to at least move up a little bit so that way this homeowner can just rest easy. Do you see anyone coming out the house, man? Um, no. I'm gonna stop because I don't see. Stop flashing the fucking light. Fuck, dude. We're gonna get the because. Ooh, we got our hands scared the fuck out of me. What? Your hand? Hand? Yeah, I swear I thought I saw something moving right there. I heard a door close. I heard like a car door. 